What's up, you guys? It's John. This is Matt, and this is John and Mass Reviews. Today, and I'm Mike. Okay. <laughs> So we're here today at our favorite comic book shop with the owner, Mike. Hey, what's up guys? The Comic Bug, the Manhattan comic. Beach. Manhattan that's right. Beach, that's right. So today we're here to talk about the uh, free comic book day, which is on May 6th. And, and 7th actually, we're doing the 7th in Culver City. And oh, 7th, sweet. so that's yeah. right. So Comic Bug, there's two locations here, one in Manhattan Beach and the one in Culver City, as he said. So um, we went to the one last year in Culver City, and it was pretty cool. <laughs> Um, what kind of events do you have to plan this year? Oh, we got so much going on. So in, in uh, let's start with Saturday in Manhattan Beach. Yeah. So you want to come to Manhattan Beach on Saturday, you want to go to Culver City on Sunday. Repeat after me. Where are you going to go Saturday? Manhattan Beach. Where are you going to go on Sunday? Culver City. Let me tell you why, okay? <laughs> so on Saturday, May 6th, we've got Rick Remender coming. Hey, Dad, you, you might not recognize this from any of the free comic day checklists that are out there. Oh, you know why? Because you can only get that, where, what does that say right there? Oh, the comic bug. You can only get this at the comic bug. It's limited to 1,500 copies, which is a, an extremely low print run. How much do you think we're going to charge for this? Free? I'm hoping free. I'm hoping it's going to be absolutely free. Like, uh, yeah, so we talked to Rick about coming down for free comic day and making a variant cover. Years previous, we always sell the variants for 10 bucks. Okay. Rick's like, well, it's free comic day, so if it's free, I'll come. So we, we worked with him and this amazing artist, Andrew Robinson. We did a book called The Fifth Beetle. Uh, Rick Remender is my favorite writer. He's one of the top writers in the industry. Oh, yeah. um, and this is a great, great book. Have you read Seven New Eternity? I have. It's That's a fantastic book, a right? Book. What, what do you like about it? Everything. The, the fantasy, the... I'm sorry, but I do love the I put him on the spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do You're love the violence in books. <laughs> So anyway, so that's going to be Saturday. You want to show up early. Like I said, we only have 1,500 copies. That's right. Uh, it's going to be limited to one per customer. And uh, yeah, it's going to be yours for free. Rick will be here to sign it. Andrew Robinson will be here to sign it. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool, right? So you said early, though. What time exactly? Well, uh, we're going to be running from 11 to 4. 11 to here. 4, okay. And yeah, on, on Saturday. And then from noon to 5 on Sunday. And there's always a line, so be early. Be yeah. Early. I'm going to save this for when we talk about Sunday. Um, Another really cool thing we got going on Saturday. You guys watch uh, Fresh Off the Boat? Yes. <laughs> so we've got the three kids from Fe Fresh Off the Boat. Come on here. So tomorrow oh. night, uh, this will probably air later, but uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday, the episode of Fresh Off the Boat, they actually make a comic book. And oh, you know who oh. helps them? Stan Lee. Wow. Stan, Stan Lee helps them out, helps That's them make awesome. a comic. And then on Saturday, Free Comic Day, the, the comic they made, book that they made, actually, it's, it's, it's written by Gene Young. Gene Yang and uh, illustrated by Jorge Corona, but it's it's the book that they make on the show. So you'll see it on TV on right. Tuesday. Come to the comic book and get it, and you can get it signed by the kids on Saturday. And they're going to be here Sunday too, but uh, one of them can't make it. So definitely want to check that out. That's Manhattan Beach. Yeah, Manhattan comic Beach. Book. Comic the book Manhattan Beach. Beach. Yep. Now on Saturday, May sixth, we're going to give out fifty copies of Guns of Blazing Number One. Have you ever read this epic comic? No, I Touch it. Tell me what you think. How it feels? <laughs> it feels like no other comic. It does. Flip, flip, yeah. Crack it open. And if oh. you look at the credits page, look at who writes. Have, have you ever heard of it? I have not. Yeah. Writing by <laughs> Mike Wellman. That's me. So this is my comic. So we can uh, oh, give I'll away see. some if we want to. I want to spread the gospel on guns blazing. <laughs> oh, check out that. Oh, one. Flip, it's like yeah, it's like two books for the price of one. Exactly. Right? So. So come Saturday to get that, and I'll tell you about Sunday, because there's a Guns of Blazing element to Sunday as well. Let's talk about some of the free comics you can get. Okay. You guys ready? Definitely. This is the big one. It's whoa, whoa. Sorry. All right, still Saturday. <laughs> I don't want to flip over Sunday yet, because you don't want to give a surprise. A surprise. Yeah. So, Secret Empire, you know about this, right? You guys have yeah. been reading this? Yes. Yeah, it's flipped the Marvel Universe on its ear yet again. I think this one's got artwork by Andrea Sorrentino and oh, controversial man. writer Nick Spencer. Uh, and then this also has in it, it's like 10 pages of Secret Empire, and then the first ever look at Chip Zdarsky and Paolo Sequeira, but I think Andy Kubert's going to draw the book, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. Oh, wow. Chip Zdarsky's a fun, fun writer. He writes uh, some really funny Captara for Image Comics. He's starting to make a name for himself over at Marvel, and this looks like he's fighting Vulture, probably because why? Vulture's the enemy. Because <laughs> Vulture's a bad guy, and Vulture's going to be in the movie, right? I want to ask you something, Mike. Yeah. There's a lot of people that were really angry about Captain America becoming Hydra. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I think it's a story. I think I think that it's interesting, just like when 
Doc Ock took over Peter Parker's conscious. That's right. Where we yeah. thought that Ben Riley it was the Spider Man since issue 150. I mean, let's see where it goes before we leap the judgment. Yeah. Uh, it is con- a controversial idea, um, but controversy stirs talk, which stirs interest, which stirs sales. Not to say I'm a mercenary, <laughs> but I mean, it, it, you gotta admit, it's an interesting take. Yeah. And it's not going to be forever. He's going to come back to being normal. It's, Kevin America, right? it's a matter of time. Yeah. So, yeah. DC is putting reissuing the first issue of the Wonder Woman Rebirth. Oh, okay. So, uh, Wonder Woman's coming out in theaters in June. Pick this up, read it, in case you hear Wonder Woman before. Mm-hmm. If you never know Wonder Woman, <laughs> you're in the wrong channel. <laughs> filming around the corner from the comic book. Did you know that they're filming Avatar 2 and 3 around the corner here? No, no I didn't. Did. Yeah, back to back. They've been over there for a while. Over at Raleigh Studios, uh, which used to be where Marvel was, but uh, there's an Avatar comic coming out. Maybe James Cameron will pop in and sign some. I doubt it, but maybe. <laughs> right? It's a maybe. You guys. should just check, come and see, just in case. You like Street Fighter? I love Street Fighter. Yeah, tell us why you went. T- just talk to us about it. Street Fighter. I grew up with Street Fighter. There's Honda. There's Ryu. There was a. You guys remember the Jean Claude Van Damme movie? Oh yeah. Oh, do I? Remember? A little cheesy, but I was a child then. I liked it as a child. Uh, no, my favorite was uh, Jackie Chan Chun Li. Have you ever seen it? Oh yeah, <laughs> it was, uh, it, was uh, it was like in a Jackie Chan movie, right? Yeah, exactly. like a little bit. Oh, that was favorite Chun Li. <laughs> Sexy. Oh yeah, of course you're gonna love him. You are you a Ninja Turtles guy? Yes. Yeah. Tell us why. Oh Ninja. Take I a guess. look in there. Tell me what you think. I grew up on Ninja Turtles. I mean, there's no what there's nothing I don't like about them. Like I'm still when you, when you say Ninja Turtles, I come out as a kid. I mean, Michelangelo, he's still my favorite. That, he is. Just that child I can say. Raphael. I love Raphael. I mean, yeah. the anger issues, I can relate to him. You have anger issues? <laughs> I can definitely relate <laughs> to him. He, just say they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, and checking this out, the artwork, I love this artwork. It's a nice um, looking book. Hmm? It's it a nice is. looking book. It is. I mean, I... And it's free. That's right. I... This is the one I'm going to get. <laughs> yeah. We got to speed along because we have a lot of books to get through. All right. But The Tick is coming out. Spoon. You guys, you ever read, read The Tick or watch the cartoon? Watch the cartoon. I guess the show's coming back. Maybe the Netflix or something. Live action. Oh, yeah. Betty and Veronica for fans of Riverdale. There's also a Riverdale book. This is, I think this is drawn by Adam Hughes. Yes. Art by Adam Hughes. Story by Adam Hughes. Adam Hughes is a great artist. Uh, he used some sort of weird it. sort of wash fade on the coloring here, but it still looks great, I think. So, and uh, the Archie lines really come up here lately with Mark Wade and Fiona Staples and a lot of great creators working on it. Uh, what's Frank Francisco Francavilla? Uh, he did Afterlife with Archie. Now this is the Riverdale that ties into the TV show. You guys watching Riverdale? Um, uh, we don't yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Straight from over the border, Captain Kamet. Yeah, not too popular around these parts, <laughs> but uh, you know he gets to blame for everything. Blame Canada. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, he's, wow. So looks like Captain Canuck started maybe his origin is, is as a war hero. I didn't know Canada did that sort of thing. Yeah, but, I didn't know he's there. <laughs> there you go. They're always peaceful. Steam Wars from Antarctic Press. This is probably from Ben Espinosa. Nope, Joe White. So it's like a cool steampunk World war. Whatever. This is supposed to be a parody of? No, this is oh, of Star Wars? Not yeah. really. It's not really that funny. When you first saw it, I don't think it's Star supposed Wars. to be. <laughs> it's just that, yeah, they just, they, they no, love Steampunk like over yeah. Any Valiant fans? You're a Valiant fan, right? Yeah. Talk to us about EXO. EXO. <laughs> I love the art. <laughs> have, you, have you read the new ones that are coming out? I actually have not. I purchased them but because I have so many comics. Mike will attest to it. He does buy a lot of I, comics. I have fallen behind That's why I agreed to come in after hours and share this stuff for comics. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> yeah. But I love the artwork. He saw the front cover and said, oh, this is an interesting comic. <laughs> Exo is kind of like a Conan meets Iron Man, if you can imagine. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and so lately Valiant's been, been sort of rebooting and, and really bringing a, a, a glisten to their characters, yeah. to the world. Um, there's some big things happening in Hollywood with Valiant. There's also a Bloodshot story in here. And uh, probably some of the Valiant guys will be coming by. So, yeah, awesome. make sure you come in and pick that up. Another reason to come Amen. by. Amen. Live long and prosper. This is uh, Star Trek Next Year. Ooh, wow, look at the art in there. Oh, that's great. Now, I'm actually going to give a plug to another comic shop. Because this is written by Scott Tipton. Okay. Who, uh, he is the co-owner, God, I hope I don't mess this up, but I think he's the co-owner of Blastoff Comics, 
up okay. in the valley, and they do a really cool fu- uh, free comic day event. At uh, usually it's at a, like a the federal bar, and that's oh, okay. way up in North Hollywood. So oh, okay. Okay. if you're up that way, or if you have time after you come to the Comic Bug, go say hi, Scott. Check out Star Trek. He also writes um, the Star Trek Green Lantern series, I believe. Oh, okay. uh, he's a big Trekkie, obviously, and cool guy. That's after the Comic Bug. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let you youngins talk about Legend of Zelda. Because okay. uh, I know you know. I'm gonna. I do like Zelda, but I know somebody who's a diehard Zelda fan. <laughs> So, this guy right here. Yes, I grew up on Zelda, old school, Super Nintendo, all the way up, um, Majora's Mask, Arcane of Time, my favorite games. The artwork, the style of every Zelda game and comic, I'm just in love with. I heard the new game's amazing. I have yet to play it, but yes, it looks amazing. And this comic looks amazing, too. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. Like, he's going to get it, definitely. Oh, yeah. I hope you can afford it. It's free. Uh, <laughs> kind of some overtime but. <laughs> Looking Glass War Hatter M so this is uh, like a uh, steampunk Mad Hatter oh, it's okay. been around for a couple years actually we just got some of the graphic novels back in stock and uh, I mean it's looks a little more adult skewing not not like you know that part looks amazing yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. but cool stuff definitely alright <laughs> <laughs> yeah right mm-hmm. you guys like Doctor Who I, <laughs> in the I, beginning, movies? Yeah. in the beginning, and you stopped. <laughs> Again, we work a lot. <laughs> okay, I understand. So you're behind. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, this has been you know, Titan's been doing a great job with the Doctor Who franchise, and here's right. a four Doctors, one astounding story, one low, low price of free. <laughs> here's one I'm really excited about. Lion Forge is a is a comic company. It's been around for a while. Okay. They've been, they've done some of the like licensed properties, like Miami Vice and stuff. Uh, but now they're launching a universe, and they've got some really involved. Uh, and Christopher Priest is involved. I know David Walker is doing something, the writer of Power Man and Iron Fist. Okay. My buddy Ray Anthony Height is going to be working for him. Uh, it looks like a very sort of ethnically diverse sort of universe. You know, like, like comics yeah, should be. Yeah, it looks yeah, great, doesn't it? Check it out. Yeah. Had you heard about that? I have not. But I love the artwork. Somebody want to help me out about Attack on Titan because I don't know as much as everybody oh, else does. <laughs> Here, handle that. <laughs> Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh, if you haven't seen it, season one's over with. Watch it. Season two is going on right now, and uh, by this front cover, you won't know what happened unless you watched it. But it's kind of like Walking Dead with giants, right? Yes, so pretty much. I mean, okay. yeah, you're in, you're in your own town. You got the outer borders. You got these titans outside trying to get in to eat humans, and they're, they're like four they're, different layers where the most protected royalty families right in the center. But they don't know where they came from, why they're here, but they're gonna eat you. They will. <laughs> so before we get to the young reader stuff, let's talk about. Sunday, all right, all right. Culver City. So we yeah, have Culver City. We get there at noon, right? And here's some stuff you'll get at Culver City. The Fresh on the Boat guys will be back, or the kids, right. I should say. Uh, two of the three. So if you want to see all three, they'll be here Saturday. If you missed that, the other two will be there on Sunday. All right. The big headliner for Sunday is going to be Jerry Dugan and Aaron Cooter, uh, artist and writer of... Guardians of the Galaxy, the new one. Oh, so there is a free comic book, Guardians of the Galaxy, that you'll get. Of course, this is a few days after the movie comes out. You guys going to see it Friday? Are you yeah. seeing it Thursday with us? I can't. We really tried. No. Oh, man. Well, Make we'll sure you see it before free comic book. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try to show up the work. <laughs> so they're relaunching the title with Guardians of the Galaxy 2 coming out. Of course, there's going to be a lot of new renewed interest. You got Baby Groot. Yeah. Oh, um, and the comic bug is actually producing uh, a variant cover. It won't be free. It will be $10, but it will be awesome. Guardians of the Galaxy number one. It's a really awesome, cool variant that you'll be able to pick up. That's only at the it. comic book. Only at the comic book on Sunday at Culver City, and you can meet Jerry Dugan and Aaron Cooter. Also, Guns of Blazing. So you came to the comic book on Saturday, and you got Guns of Blazing number one. Come to the comic book on Sunday in Culver City and get number two. Sweet. And then you'll have half the seat. You can feel that. Touch that. <laughs> Crack it up and smell it. That's the gunpowder. What's it smell like? It smells like awesomeness. <laughs> right? It does. Yeah, there you go, man. I love it. It's very colorful. And it feels good, too. Yeah. So, uh, Guns of Blazing. Guns of Blazing. Number two. Raphael and I will be there. Uh, now, let's get out of self-promotion. Let's start <laughs> talking about some of the fun stuff for kids. Now, I've read all these. As you can see, there's like 50 books, right? There's a lot. There's a lot of great books to choose from. However, when you come to the comic book, Daniel, how many do they get? Five? We don't know. I think, I think <laughs> you'll get, be able to choose five. Of these books, so bring your kids and they can pick two or three of these. Uh, Spill Night, and this is by 
who publishes? Oh, uh, 01, uh, first, second publishing. They, they normally okay. do graphic novels. Okay. So this is probably an excerpt for one of the graphic novels. Uh, the Descendants, which are the descendants, if you look closely, of some Disney characters uh, by Tokyo Pop. Fun manga style. Oh, okay. Really nice okay. colors. Yeah, there's what's her name, Maleficent, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is. Yeah. Looks a lot happier. So this, this is a good one for the kids. <laughs> this looks like a lot of fun too. Uh, colorful monsters, and it looks like it's, it's a reprint of some of the comic strips. Yeah. Maybe from oh, okay. a day long gone. But, uh, I like when these weird, quirky things you don't yeah. you don't see everywhere come out, and it's free. It's a good, the perfect price to sample. Of course. I know you're a big fan, so I'll let you handle that one. <laughs> <laughs> Superhero girls. Yeah. What can I say about this? But. They're girls like, that are super girls. Um, see Batgirl. Yeah, you have These Batgirl. are cool. I mean, this is the, yeah, I think Mattel is putting out a line of superhero girls. You see them at, at okay. Target and grocery stores. And these, the, the comics, the graphic novels have been extremely popular. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they, they it's perfect for young female readers. They have a little superhero girls Lego, too, apparently. Oh, yeah, so, they got it all. <laughs> merchandise is coming. <laughs> I'm glad they're trying to bring in the, the girls in here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is from Image Comics, Kid Savage. Uh, looks pretty interesting. It's by Joe Kelly, who I believe is like from Man of Action. Might have had something to do with Big Hero 6. But check it out. It's really cool. It's like a little crazy cave boy kid. And it does look like it's appropriate for all ages readers. Yeah, because usually Image, their comics are a little violent. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, usually a little, little violent. Really this looks like it's made for yeah, a, looks like a, fun a younger comic. crowd. This looks like it's perfect for your Scott Pilgrim, sort of John Hughes fans. Oh, yeah. Bad Machinery, again, from Oni Press, same people who put out Scott Pilgrim. Uh, and, yeah, that's a lot of a lot of dialogue, a lot of talking. Looks like it's about girls at a private school, maybe. Haven't read it, but check it out. Look fun. Yeah, so if you have Scott Pilgrim, definitely check it out. You always know there's something goes wrong in school. Always. Always, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know her, you love her. She's Barbie. Oh, John's a big fan Barbie. of that. Are you going right. to talk about Barbie a little bit? That's right. So, <laughs> it looks like there's more than one Barbie now. There's what? Three different types. Right. Last time I went to Toys R Us, it was interesting. I found a Barbie that said... Oh, wow. Are they all Barbie? Yeah. They, they have to be all Barbie, right? They're part <laughs> well, of the... They don't have different names. Well, I'm sure they have... Is it Barbie different 1, names. Barbie 2, Barbie? <laughs> you know, suddenly I'm more intrigued to read that than any of the free comic books. <laughs> Now there's three different Barbies. I'm sure they all have different names. Now this is uh, The Loud House, which looks like it might be kind of an anthology type thing. It looks like Nickelodeon. Oh, oh, Nickelodeon, oh yeah, it is yeah. Nickelodeon oh, and is. from Paper Cuts. You know about this? I, I, I know nothing. The, the I've seen two episodes. Like yeah, okay, so you do know a little. How's yeah. the show? It's basically about this kid. He's always trying to do his own thing. Okay. But since he's the youngest one, the rest of the family is always trying to pull him around and do different things, like ignore him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that always happens as the youngest. Uh, Boom Studios has a younger readers line called Kaboom. Okay. Um, and they put out, well, Arkea puts out Mouse Card. But they have a, a couple pages of three of their different awesome books in here. Uh, and that would be Brave, Brave Chef Rihanna, Mouse Guard, Cody and the Creepers, and the ever popular Lumberjanes. Oh, okay. So I think these are original stories. Can't find anywhere else. Again, the price is right, free, right. Yeah, boom, that. kaboom. I've never read the Lumberjanes, but I've heard many great things about that comic. Have you read the comic? Yeah, 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 it's fun. It's okay. a lot of fun. I recommend it too, like, because, I mean, boys and girls can get into bone, but yeah, young female readers, Lumberjanes is a perfect book for, oh, okay. uh, yeah. For some reason, they're bringing back Underdog. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, oh, it's actually a story by Jim Kaharik, who's he was a very talented writer and uh this looks like a fun oh wow and then there's some old school i had these as a kid <laughs> oh, whitman underdog stuff you guys do you guys uh remember wonder underdog? I, I do i have I a remember t-shirt it. actually okay cool yeah and there's casper and so you know there's some good wholesome fun uh yeah. for younger readers yeah. check yeah. it out yeah and for some good holy fun <laughs> we got spongebob squarepants freestyle funnies and they usually get some pretty interesting people to work on these this is also well, this is fun fun an interesting cartoon. If you yeah, really think about it, like, it's, it's it's fun and subversive, and uh, as is the comic. It is. I haven't watched this, but I hear it's pretty fun. Miraculous. Miraculous. I've not. I've no, I haven't seen that one. I've yet to see that. I think one. It comes on like Cartoon Network or something. Uh, this female superhero is called Ladybug. 
<laughs> and uh, he got the ladybug sitting here. Definitely sounds. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. Hilda's back. Uh, check it out. I haven't read it, but there it is. Yeah, I read this. See, it looks like a Cartoon Network type, this style. It does. So, Dark Horse, uh, they put out two of these now uh, Buffy, the high school years. Oh. So, it's, you know, right. flashback Buffy. It's, it's more uh, friendly for younger readers, and it's, it's Buffy. Yeah. Suffering through high school, of course, there's still vampires there. If you don't know, Buffy is a vampire. She's a vampire slayer. Uh, Daniel, where'd you go? He said the only girl he would ever date was Buffy, the, the <laughs> vampire slayer. And I said to Daniel, I was like, well, that's, you know, what, you mean Sarah Michelle Geller? He's like, no, Buffy. Like, uh, like, and I'm like, well, wait, she's not real. Well, so not the actress. So that'll that's true. The actress could be a different person. So Buffy, I, I could see that. Okay. I, I always had a crush on, uh, was it Will? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. from Buffy, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Monster High, another popular toy line come to comics. Oh, okay. Uh, isn't that Mattel? I think that's Mattel. I believe it is Mattel. Yeah, so this looks fun. Fun artwork, great colors. Uh, you know, if you like the toys, like the dolls, come get the comic. Why not? It's free. <laughs> this looks like a lot of fun, too. Time shifters. I love time travel stuff. It's got a nice, crisp art style. Who drew this? I don't know who I don't drew think it. it it's a secret. <laughs> you have to go back in time and find out. But I mean, look at that art. It's funny. You're going to have to get hooked when uh, I look for the comic. Yeah. I bet it's. Gosh, it does. It really doesn't say. Anyway, we'll have to Google that later. <laughs> Animal Jam from Dynamite. Dynamite, the people who bring you Red Sonia, Vampirella, oh. Flash Gordon, Battlestar Galactica, all the stuff this old guy likes. So it's they're like heading a, towards kids. Yeah, they're yeah. dabbling in some kid stuff with Animal Jam. All right. No, com no free comic day is complete without a <laughs> Simpsons, Simpsons release. Of course. <laughs> Bongo free for all. They've been around since the 90s. I believe 80s. Maybe 80s. Late. 80s. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they've been participating in free comic day ever since it started. Uh, it looks like there's a handful of great Simpsons stories in there. Oh, yeah. All right. What do you guys handle this? Who, who's more qualified? Me. Both of us. <laughs> I, know, all right. both <laughs> I know. So, I mean, <clears throat> Dragon Ball. If you don't know Dragon Ball, you're not a true anime fan. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. I mean, Goku. From a different planet. I mean, kind of. Is he from a different planet? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, kind of resembles. Does it take place on Earth? It takes place on uh, Earth. Yeah, the story takes place yeah. on Earth. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like the Superman. Oh, okay. Like, you can actually relate the story of Goku with Superman. He, oh, wow. He's last of his kind. Came from a planet. You know, on a ship over. He's the weakest of his kind, but ends up being the strongest. Being the strongest. Yeah. 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 So pretty similar to Superman. So do other people come from his planet, and that's who he fights, or? Yeah, some came uh, from that. Um, different. Di completely different planets. There's a like couple fights of last many episodes. Like when you get oh, in a fight, yeah. it lasts yeah. like ten episodes. There's like ten minutes of screaming for them to <laughs> they power up. They stare at each other. For <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, but it's a really fun anime. It's something. How's the comic look? It's all right. Looks cool. Looks fun. Actually, it yeah. looks like he's a Super Saiyan in one. In one already. All right. So these are Super Saiyan. Okay. So these are later on in the, in the game. There. Huh? It's a yeah. Dragon Ball Super. So I think that's the remake they're doing. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's in Cartoon Network. And there's also stuff for big kids, for older kids, for more mature <laughs> readers, if you will. And uh, not, not too many, so we'll get through them real quick. Uh, okay. Z2 Comics, which is, I think, a new company, is bringing us this noir classic right. in the making called The Ballad of Franklin Bonnie Steele or The Shreveport Kid. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, you know what? This? Okay, I'm, I'm not, never mind. It has a free free track if you go to this website. It has it from Dan Auerbach, you know who oh, that is? Okay. From the Black Keys. So oh. you, yeah, there's a free song you can get with this. Not only a free comic, free a free song. song. Grim Fairy Tales. I've heard that comic, I've never actually read it. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> no, you just look at the cover. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> Grim Fairy Tales is cool. I, I gotta respect them. They've been around for a long time now. Yeah. Uh, you know, trying not to make too many adult jokes. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna fight that. I'm gonna fight that. They do hire really nice cover artists, and uh, if you like your fairy tales with a lot of cleavage, <laughs> your fairy tales is for you. Fairy tales. Here's another classic indie hero who's been around forever. Oh. Oh. Sylvester Stallone, the one that Judge Dredd. Uh, part of 2000 AD, and it looks like there's samplings of many other of the 2000 uh, strips like Slain, the Horn Guy. Yeah. Uh, ooh, what is that? Check that out. Ooh, Judge oh, Death I mean, by Dave Kendall is the artist on it. Yeah, really really nice. yeah. Hooked up. That's right. Gone but not forgotten, the great Mobius. You know about Mobius? I do not. He was a fantastic artist, uh, French, I believe. And I mean, just look at his, his uh, 
his artwork there. So is it a remix of you saying what? This is a. Uh, this is an excerpt from the Inkel graphic novel. Oh, okay. It was a great, great graphic novel uh, written by Alejandro Jodorowsky. Right. Kind of, if you're a fan of a Dune, that, or that kind of sci-fi where it's you know, kind of psychedelic and like socio-political, it's a good book to read. Okay. You guys watch this? Oh, yeah. Help me out. You, your turn. Okay. So Rick and Morty, it shows on Cartoon Network. Basically, he's a scientist who, he's a genius. But every time he's burping, I don't know if he has an alcohol problem or what. But he, he does. takes he takes this this kid is is his nephew on random adventures where he's almost close to death. Or if you've seen it, there are many Rick and Mortys, and he has died a bunch of times. Oh, the uh, Morty has. Or? Yeah, oh, both wow. of them. Yeah. So there's, is... there's times where there's alternate universe where they're like, you know what, we blew up this planet, let's go on to the next one and kill the other Rick and Morty. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, so that's aired on Cartoon Network, uh, Adult Swim. That's right. That's yeah. a really fun comedy. Cartoon. Free. I Hate Image from uh, Scott Young, oh, the creator <laughs> of I Hate Fairyland, or yeah. F Fairyland, as he likes to call it. So oh, this one, what's that girl's name? I forget. Uh, main character. Gertrude? Gertrude. 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 Yeah. Go, runs rampant in the Image universe, not just with other Image characters, but also I believe there are some Image creators that face the... Uh, the business end of her acts oh, nice. in this. We should so. do the video on this is one of the columns you should check yeah. out if you don't know. You should? Yeah. yeah definitely. Oh, you, oh, you mean on your on your podcast? Yeah, so yeah. you've seen our past videos, we did a review on it, and we saw the costume on one con. So. And, and you get a free one, a free comment. Free so free, check Go it out. sign. Uh, <laughs> now this looks like some, you know, sort of uh, existential, like you want to take a hard look at your life and... Yeah. and you know, sort of ponder the decisions you've been making. Let's Maybe you it. don't, but this guy certainly <laughs> did. Guy, guy <laughs> did. Wild. But it's good to have something that's, you know, in a little change of pace. Uh, it's like a guy locked in a room for the most part. Um, you know, great, thought provoking. Uh, right yeah. So, can't really speak too, too much too, uh, with too much knowledge. No. Kaiser Soze, spoiler alert. What's the one movie you see from? Um. I don't know. <laughs> he is the bad guy in Usual Suspects. So this is a spin-off of Usual Suspects. Oh, okay. 1996 Chris McCoy uh, movie. I um, love movies, so I'm a bit ashamed have you seen not knowing Suspects? that movie. <laughs> you haven't seen it? No. Oh, dude, you got to see that. Go now you know who the bad now. guy is. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Here's a reprint of some, some, I think it might be European or text. Maybe text. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a Western thing. Uh, Great artwork. I think this is by, oh, it's Epicenter so, Comics. Never heard of them, but they're doing some other stuff. There's their friendly right. lady that works at booth. <laughs> We're almost done. World's Greatest Cartoonist by Fanagraphics. So it's going to be some fun, edgy stuff. Looks like a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, different styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of different comics in one. What is that? That looks that's cool. That's... We don't know what it is. Yeah, well, it's it's on <laughs> really nice artsy stuff. And, it's and then... In the in the interest of knowledge, the Overstreet Guide to Collecting, you will read this and know how to protect your comics. What's a good comic? What's a bad comic? Yada yada yada. Bam! Go. <laughs> we did it. High five. We did all of them. All of them. Yeah. So we gotta go to Free Comic Day, right? That's right. Yeah, definitely. So remember, guys, Saturday it's in Manhattan Beach. If you want me, recommender. Guy who wrote Tokyo Ghost and Andrew Robinson, attorney, and Andrew Robinson, and then on Sunday, Sunday Culver City, <laughs> Culver City. Don't forget, we got Gary Dugan, and we got Aaron Cooter, and Aaron Cooter, and fresh off the boat cast. If you're interested in that, yeah, right. totally, I am, <laughs> and about forty other comic creators, and a bunch of cosplayers, wow. and a ton of fun. Yeah, we all stop with superstar talent. We we keep it going.